Let's denote the three points by a, b and c respectively. Therefore vector a, b which is equal to the position vector of point b minus position vector of point a is equal to beta i plus gamma j plus alpha k minus in brackets alpha i plus beta j plus gamma k. This is equal to beta minus alpha times i plus gamma minus beta times j plus alpha minus gamma times k. Similarly, the vector bc is equal to the position vector of point c minus position vector of point b which is equal to gamma i plus alpha j plus beta k minus beta i plus gamma j plus alpha k. This is equal to gamma minus beta times i plus alpha minus gamma times j plus beta minus alpha times k. Vector ca which is equal to the position vector of point a minus position vector of point c is equal to alpha i plus beta j plus gamma k minus gamma i plus alpha j plus beta k. This is equal to alpha minus gamma times i plus beta minus alpha times j plus gamma minus beta times k. Therefore, the absolute value of vector a, b is equal to square root of beta minus alpha square plus gamma minus beta square plus alpha minus gamma square. Similarly, the absolute value of vector bc is equal to the square root of gamma minus beta square plus alpha minus gamma square plus beta minus alpha square. And finally, the absolute value of vector ca is equal to square root of alpha minus gamma square plus beta minus alpha square plus gamma minus beta square. Notice that on the right hand side of these three expressions, beta minus alpha square is common. Similarly, gamma minus beta square is also common. And finally, alpha minus gamma square is also common. This therefore implies that the absolute value of vector AB is equal to the absolute value of vector BC is equal to the absolute value of vector CA. It therefore follows that the points A, B and C form an equilateral triangle which is the required answer.